welcome back to another episode of Hunt Solo with me, Lauren. Right, so I don't know if you know, but last week, Scotland proved they are the only country living in 2020 by becoming the first and only country in the whole of the world to make sanitary products free for everybody who needs them. It's amazing, it's honestly amazing. It's also amazing that England, who would like to think of themselves as one of the leading world powers, hasn't already done this. Oh, but that's the country that quite literally took the food out of children's mouths not so long ago, so am I really surprised? Boris. So anyway, I got a DM from the lovely Paige Smith, whose Instagram is just there. Uh, you should go and follow her because she's she's a little a little babe is what she is. She's a little she's a little hun. <laughs> She sent me a BBC article on Facebook about this very subject. You can already see where this is going, can't you? Good. Period poverty. Scotland is first in the world to make period products free. How could this possibly, possibly, possibly have any negative comments in it? This is the most positive thing that's happened since It's just positive, I guess. <laughs> there is now legal duty on local authorities to ensure that free items such as tampons and pads are available to anyone who needs them. Firstly, I know there are a lot of people out there who will latch onto the words period poverty and dismiss it as nonsense and those are the kinds of people who either have an awful lot of money or people who've never had a blade from the vagina so i want to give you a quick uh, example of what period poverty is so imagine you're a young woman you've got a couple of kids uh, you're, you're single so you're a single man you work but you earn minimum wage uh, your children aren't old enough to be in state school and nursery yet, so you have to pay for childcare. You've got bills to pay, mouths to feed, children to clothe, and a house to keep warm. You get some help off the government, but that money literally only just covers the bills. It's the end of the month and you've just got your period. You don't have any tampons or pads in the house, and you're down to your last few pennies in the bank. If you weren't able to get a hold of something to stop you bleeding everywhere by tomorrow morning, you're gonna have to call in sick to work. You can't go to work and free bleed everywhere. You can't go to work and free bleed everywhere because one, it's embarrassing and uncomfortable for you. Two, you don't have enough clothes to change every half an hour even if you wanted to free bleed. And three, we're not gonna put up with that. Neither are your colleagues. They're gonna complain and say it's gross. So you have two choices. You either phone in sick to work or you spend your last few pounds on period products. So you make your decision and you head to the shops because you can't afford to miss out on work. If you keep phoning into work every month because you've got your period, your boss will get pissed off and they'll just find someone else to cover your shift permanently. So you're at the shops and you fill your basket with everything you know you're going to need for the next seven days. That's if you only bleed for seven days. You put it all through the checkout and it comes to eight pound. But the problem is you've only got four pounds 70 in the bank. So instead of being fully prepared for the week ahead, you've now only got one box of tampons and two boxes of paracetamol. You spend the next week trying to ration out your tampons so you don't run out. It's causing you a lot of stress and anxiety and you don't need that on top of the debilitating cramps you've had for the last five days. Thankfully, your flow calms down on the sixth day, which is a godsend because you used your last tampon yesterday at work. You spend the next two days lying in your underwear with toilet roll, praying that it doesn't come through your pants and you don't leave a mark on a seat at work. Day eight and all of your symptoms have gone and the bleeding stopped. And now you don't have to worry about that for another month. But you know for a fine fact, 
come the next month, you're gonna have to do this all over again. That's not even an extreme example of period poverty. There are young girls all over the world and in first world countries like England who miss out on school most days because they're bleeding and they've got nothing to stop it. A survey of more than 2,000 people by Young Scott found that about one in four respondents at school, college or university in Scotland had struggled to access period products. Meanwhile, about 10% of girls in the UK have been unable to afford period products, 15% have struggled to afford them and 19% have changed to a less suitable product due to cost. You should never, ever, ever have to put substandard products on or up your vagina because you can't afford them. That is fucking unacceptable. Now I'm not gonna go in depth into this article but I will link it down below for anybody who wants to read all the stats uh, and all the different parts of this article. So now that we know what period poverty is and how many millions of women worldwide it affects, why don't we have a little gander at what Joe Public thinks of period poverty. So excited! <laughs> I'm not! So... <laughs> oh, it's so easy, it? There's a clear divide between people who are like, yes, it's about time, I wish my country would do this, and the people who are like, woman get free thing, man mad. Like, why? Why is man mad? We're about to find out. I've got so many screenshots of things that I don't really need, but I feel like I have to hang on to in case somebody's like, Ugh, you don't mind man. And I'm like, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. They were talking to me that I'm having to sift through them all and it's causing me a headache. I'm gonna kick straight off with a top fan. Uh, we all love the top fans here on Hun Solo. We're all love. I'm sure this top fan has something really positive to say. Uh, they're probably really in favor of this bill. They probably don't have any negativity towards what's happening. So let's read. Well, they aren't free. It's being paid for by the tax paying person. Think it's just a better idea not to tax on them. Let alone looks tax like the USA does. If someone can't afford a box of cheap, shitty tampons, what makes you think just taking the tax off is gonna solve all these ladies' problems? Well, it's not free, is it? We know it's not free! It's paid for by the taxpayer, obviously, just like fucking everything else is. Jesus! So until you bleed from your vagina and need to spend at least eight pound every month on your period, Imagine that was keys and stuff. Nothing is free. People need to understand this. The tampons are manufactured. The manufacturer needs to be paid. The tampons are not free. The taxpayer will pay for them and the government of Scotland will distribute them for free. As if we didn't know. But of course they aren't free. All that's happened is that you establish the principle the government knows better how to spend your money than you do. Actually, Roland, what's happening here is you don't understand because you won't benefit from it. That's all that's happening here. So what's, what about the government using tax money to provide for the taxpayer? Don't you understand? Because the women who are gonna benefit from it understand that their taxes that they are paying are gonna be put towards this. So everybody that bleeds out of their vagina gets to benefit. So why is it so difficult for you, Roland? It's also kind of annoying that you would assume that the people in the world don't already understand that it's not free, you know, like, ugh. oh my god, men, 
not all men. Who is Dick? Oh, <laughs> sorry, that's a text off my mum asking about the story time. She's probably gonna ring us soon and interrupt it. Okay, so Rachel knows what it's about. She's fucking clued up. She says, it's about time. Period poverty is a big issue. So glad to see this. Hopefully other countries will follow suit. And Rachel, 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 I hope so too, because even though England has got uh, free period products in educational settings, like um, primary schools, secondary schools, and I think colleges and universities, other people who are not in education and can't afford period products don't have any way to go for it. So, Rachel, me and you, same wavelength. It says, nothing is free, taxes pay for then. Dawn, I'm sorry, if you are going to come on and criticise this bill, can you learn your words, please? Nothing is free, taxes pay for them, which means you pay for yours, others, whether you like it or not. We are aware of how taxes work. The people of Scotland are aware of how taxes work. It's fine. Everyone seems to be very happy to help people in period poverty get what they need. It's only fucking naysayers like you who are being dickheads. This guy called Thomas, I think, I, I feel like, I feel like I'm, I, I'm either getting this wrong or, well, I just feel like, I don't, I don't know. So he says, women should boycott the things. Wonder how long would it take things to change? So if women boycotted period products, Thomas, would you be happy to have women in your life not that bleeding and free bleeding is anything to be ashamed of. But would you, Thomas, be happy with the women in your life walking around with blood everywhere? You've got to think of like, it, it's going to like transfer from surface to surface. There's going to be a smell and the, the woman is going to feel gross because it's just not the most pleasant sensation. It's gonna be on bed sheets, it's gonna be on sofas, it's gonna be left on the toilet. So, unless you've thought that through. Oh my God, oh my God. I fucking hit, I saw this comment and instantly I was just like, oh, so annoying, right, okay. It's obviously from a man. Richard, Richard, I'm not happy with you. So women do not have to pay for their biological needs. Does that mean I can go get a few beers with the Queen? After all, men have biological needs to procreate and we are pretty hardwired for it. No pun intended. Richard, um, you don't have to procreate every month. Um, I'm not sure what you think a biological need is. Um, if, if you do feel like you need to procreate every month, use one of these uh, and a sock. And then that, that's your issue sorted. I can't use one of these and a sock every month for seven days. I need a tampon and a pad at least four times a day. Uh, that's a biological need. I'm not I'm not sure creating children that you're not gonna pay for. It's a biological need. Uh, I just wanted to, to reach out to you there, Richard, and educate you. And then Leon is really fucking offended and he just wants to know, do we have to say these things? Do we have to say these things? I come on the internet to troll people. I don't wanna hear about women's periods. This is disgusting. Oh, this guy called Junior. He just would like to know if uh, what the men are gonna get for free. He wants to know if they're gonna get beer for free every month. Um, because beer is a biological need. Like, obviously this is somebody trying to be a funny bugger. 
but it just missed the mark. Uh, it landed here, and the mark is way, way over there. This top fan is a female, and like, honestly, bile is, is rising. The bile's rising up my throat as I read this. It is gross. I guess we're only strong and independent women until we get our periods. I'm sorry, Elizabeth, that you can afford to buy everything you need for your period every month. But some people aren't as fortunate. They're still strong, independent women though, so <laughs> right up your s This guy, like, is was one of the real, real heroes of this whole story. He says, such a disappointing response from men, especially the ones of particular countries and political beliefs. I am actually impressed by the whole Scottish Parliament. A cross-party success instead of division and fighting. Jake, I think I just fell in love with you. Please marry me and let me have 17 of your babies. So that was all of the comments that I could be fucking asked to go through on this because it was just literally man after man after man being so enraged that a woman was gonna get something for free and he wasn't getting a fucking free beer every month or a razor blade or he wasn't getting fucking entitlement to sex because he needs to procreate to stay alive and like I was honest I was just getting so pissed off that I was just like I had to put the phone down I was like Lauren don't do this to yourself stay calm don't ruin your day. Boris ruined your day already by announcing tier three. Don't, don't let this take you over the edge. So I put my phone down and I didn't read any more comments. So the lady who got this bill through, uh, she's called MSP Monica Lennon. She's an absolute queen. However, she's been fighting to end period poverty since 2016. That's four years. Four years? Just to get women a basic thing like period products. And I understand things do take time, but four years just for the government to go, I that's fine. Four years. So if you have a penis and after watching this video, you truly believe that you deserve a free razor blade every month and that men really do have to procreate and that the government should make some kind of bullshit boo hoo woman get something for free i want something for free meh, meh, meh. woman get back in the kitchen bill especially just to please you then the dick on your head is bigger than the dick in your pants like honestly a man that understands a woman's basic needs and this isn't me aiming high this is me literally lowering all my standards a man that understands a woman's basic needs and is sympathetic to her plight when it comes to her period, doesn't think it's disgusting, doesn't shame her, isn't complaining about free period products, and understands that women are not exaggerating about the pain they feel during their period. So attractive. That right there is biggest dickest energy. You can't get a bigger dick than that. And in a world full of Ronalds, just be a Jake. So I just want to say a big thank you, like massive thank you to everybody who has supported Hun Solo so far. I'm having so much fun making it that I might even just fuck off the other two Huns and start my own channel. I, I won't. <laughs> that was a joke. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Yet. No, I'm not doing that. Um, so yeah, thank you. The, the response to these videos that I've been doing has just been like crazy. Um, I'm, I honestly, I'm, I just really appreciate it. I appreciate the fact that a handful of years take time out of your week, every week to watch my videos and to watch our group videos and to watch the other hundreds videos and, and leave comments. Um, the only thing is I noticed a lot of you haven't subscribed and I just want to know what the fuck's your problem. No, but seriously, I'm I'm very grateful for all the support. Uh, and if you would like to become a little hun, all you have to do is go to the bar below, click our little icon, click subscribe, 
go back then go back on the bar give it a thumbs up and uh, leave a comment if you would like don't forget to turn on notifications because we are uploading twice sometimes thrice a week now uh, and you don't want to miss that because the content is getting uh, it's getting pretty good and we've got some nice Christmas stuff planned as well. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!